In this video, I am going to show you how to add authentication to a basic Rails application. In our past uh, videos, our past lectures, I showed you how to create a basic um, Ruby on Rails application with some basic um, web pages on it. And I'm going to go ahead and start that up so that we can see it here in the in the browser. So we'll start that up um, and I'm going to navigate to it. So here's the here's the application I, cre I had created and I think I had a couple of yeah so here they are uh, a couple of static pages that I, that I had added to it. Say hello and goodbye. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create um, a. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to add a login system to this. Um, I'm going to call it to Devise, or, or the the um, login system is called Devise. It's a it's a Ruby gem that's available. Uh, so rather than creating our whole our own login system and I know that there are tutorials out there that do that. Um, I thought it'd be best if we just use something that's off the shelf. We don't have to worry about figuring out how everything, um, how to make it secure and, and the whole workflow for it. And that, that is certainly a valuable um, activity and there's a, a great tutorial by Michael Hartle that, uh, that really does that. But I, I thought I'd show you how to use device and um, we could do that here. All right, so the first thing I want to do is um, I want to create a landing page, or at least a, um, a yeah, a landing page. You log in and you, and you get to uh, the website. And basically, I want to replace this. Uh, oh, uh, I guess I stopped running the server. I want to replace the um, this base page here with, uh, with a, a page that... Uh, uh, contains our our landing page or our, our main page once you log in. I'm going to use that as the um, the page that's being protected. Uh, so we log it. when we first hit the site. Um, there's going to be a login page, and then after you get through the login, you'll you'll hit this uh, you'll hit this secondary page. So I'm going to do this um, just like the the last um, um, video. I'm going to create a controller and then. Um, we'll make some modifications to it, and then use that for um, for the application. So um, we do a Rails generate controller. We call this dashboard, and I'm just going to give it one uh, one method, if you if you will, and it's going to be the index. Uh, and, and, and what I'll, that'll end up doing is that uh, we'll have this then firing up an index.html. Um, if you're looking at one of the books that we have in the text, they, they do all this manually, um, which I think is kind of silly. And you can just use the Rails generate, and this will automatically create a bunch of the files that we need. All right, so you'll see here again that it's changed. Um, uh, it, well, it's uh, added some files. Um, we do need to make some modifications to a couple of these. Um, the first one that we want to change is the routes file. So I'm going to go to config and routes. And so rather than having it go to this dashboard slash index file, I'm going to have the root of the application and uh, not root is an R-O-U-T-E, but rather the, the base um, URL, go to dashboard and um, hash index. This is, and effectively that's going to be the same thing, um, replacing the hash with the slash uh, or vice versa, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to encode it like this. This, this keeps it, this actually keeps us consistent with, uh, example from the text um, that they did by hand, but we're just doing it here. So uh, the next piece that um, I just want to look at and, um, is the um, dashboard controller. 
it's under app. And oh, so so first, this is the uh, this is the page that we're going to land on when we um, we fire up the um, uh, fire up the app. I'm going to change this up a little bit. Um, add some text. Say welcome to my app. And. Say that we're using Rails. I'm going to give it a version. And uh, if you remember, um, this is embedded Ruby, uh, and there is a command, a Rails command, or a Rails class where we can provide a function. So I'm going to, or sorry, a version. So I'm going to use that here. Um, and then I'm um, just going to add just one more piece. Um, section later we're going to want to um, use uh, uh, sorry bootstrap to style this but I'm just making this now here future home of our dashboard okay so um, anyway, so this is the first part of um, what we wanted to do, um, make this modification. So let me go ahead and start up the server once again, and just so we can see this. So here it is, welcome to my app, using Rails 5.01, so this is the future home of our dashboard. So um, anytime you want to create a static page, I mean that's basically the way that it goes, right? It's uh, uh, you you can generate the controller, or you can generate these, uh, or you can create these manually. Um, what will happen is a routes file will be created, um, and and this basically says, you know, if you navigate to whatever the URL is slash, and then whatever the um, whatever the path is. Um, that'll bring you to the page. In this case here with dashboard index, this is basically saying the root is going to be mapped to, so whatever the home directory is, it's going to be mapped to this dashboard index. And I don't even think I can go to say, let me try it and see dashboard. Yeah, I can't actually even go to that um, because it's not defined in the root in the roots table. The only thing that's defined for going to that directory really is the the root path. Okay. So the next piece that I want to do is I want to um, I want to add in device and device is a um, is a system for is a Ruby gem. Um, for essentially supporting um, user login. And I think what I'm going to do here is rather than uh, continuing, um, I'm going to stop here and I'll, I'll start this up in the next video um, showing you how to add device. So, anyway, that concludes this. Uh,